we have, we have to come out with play this since our, our, our lackluster efforts starting games has to change. And one of the things we haven't done well as of late is getting back on defense. So we cannot allow them to take advantage of our deficiencies. We got to change that tonight. We got to get back. That means no quick jump shots. Mike's would begin the game forcing a quick jump shot. Crawford, too, would also take a quick jump shot. Coach Turner would bench the starting backcourt, inserting freshman Prentice Hub. He wisely settled the offense, finding Sam Miller for three, not once, but twice. With Hub playing the point guard, Miller would get the touches he deserved and convert it. When Miller was involved offensively, he seemed to step up on the defensive end as well. Hub would go back to Miller. Miller would attack the rim, attempting to posterize the Paul VI defender. Though the dunk missed, the ball would rattle in for the three-point play. Miller scored all 13 points. To start the second quarter, Likes would be reinserted and quickly commit two offensive fouls, getting him back on the bench. Crawford would wisely feed Miller in the post, which resulted in an easy two points. Then he would step up defensively, stealing a pass and getting a layup. Another steal by Crawford, which would result in a layup for him, was key to keeping the game close. Not a bad effort. <coughs> now we got to take control again. Gave them an early run, doing things we shouldn't do, but we're right back where we need to be. Now, now let's take control. But it's one possession at a time. We'll have to get it right away. All right. On the very first possession of the second half, Likes would find Miller for the oop. The Eagles would defend, which led to fast breaks. Pushing the ball, they would score multiple layups. In the half court, Likes would find Hub for a layup, and Miller would crash the boards with an emphatic two-handed dunk. Eagles were down one going into the fourth. The Eagles would continue to push the ball and get layups. Late in the fourth quarter when the Eagles needed to execute, Likes would get to the rim and score a layup. Greenwood would find Crawford on a backdoor cut for another easy layup. The game was now tied and less than 45 seconds remaining. Crawford would use the screen and hoist up a deep three-pointer that would hit the back rim. Paul the six would recover and call timeout. On the final possession, Howard would attack his good friend Crawford, but his shot attempt was disrupted by freshman Prentice Hub. On the final possession, Likes would attempt to get to the basket, but would slip and get tied up. On the first overtime possession, the Eagles would go back to what worked for them so well in the beginning of the game. Hub to Miller. The Panthers would focus their attention on stopping Miller, and he would find freshman Miles Dredd for a layup. Crawford's defensive pressure on Howard would result in Eddie Scott's steal and a dunk to close the game. The Eagles finally won a close one. The Eagles were focused and prepared to take on league nemesis, DeMatha. Coming in as an underdog with a 13-8 record, this was an opportunity to show the league and the area that the Eagles were for real. Yeah. The first two Eagles possessions would be misses from the three-point line. Likes first, then Miller. Miller would get Likes going by finding him on an interior pass in the paint and then setting him up for a step back. Likes would then assist Miller for a deep two. With a great head fake, he would get the defender in the air and then hit another deep two. Miller would then get going on the interior, scoring on the next three possessions for the Eagles. With seconds remaining in the quarter, Likes would jump the passing lane for a steal and a layup. In the second quarter, the Eagles would share the ball and get other players involved. They would execute their offense, scoring layups and easy jump shots. Crawford would find junior Jack Lawrence for the dunk and to close the quarter out. The Eagles were down by two. We have to be a little smarter without the quick shots. The quick shots are going to kill us. And they're flying down the court for easy layup dunks. Because we have no one back in those situations. I know it's tempting, but you got to be smart. Good effort at the end to get us right back in it. Now it's time, now it's time to play and take this game home. If we're going to have to come together as a team, then we're going to have to rise each other when we're hot. Today, Sam is hot, all right? And we can all ride off of him. 
Like I said, but not in one. Everybody keep dropping back to the paint and then find your man. One time we went down, three guys were on two guys, and then three, two guys were checking three. Guys gotta talk, that's what he's just talking about. Talk, communicate. Guys, it's your game. I like the energy on the bench the last five minutes. Keep it going. Let's go. Deep defense, we off the ball. We're best when we're in the passing room. That means we gotta retain dribble. Do that talk and transition defense so we know who we got. Come on, fellas, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We, our defensive principles are sound. You guys got to trust us. Yeah. Likes would penetrate the zone, finding Crawford on the elbow for a three-pointer. Likes would pull a deep three from the elbow. Crawford would come off of a screen and hit a contested three-pointer. In transition, Crawford would find Miller on a look-away pass and then throw an inbounds perfect alley-oop. But the Eagles were still down four. The Eagles would really get going at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Likes would come up with a steal and go straight to the basket for a layup. Crawford would hit a contested three-pointer from the corner, and the Eagles would be up by one. Crawford would find Miller diving to the basket. Miller would call for the ball and beat his man off the dribble for a layup. Jabari Greenwood's tough defense on the DeMatha star would force a turnover, which would lead to a Brian Crawford layup. With the Eagles leading by one, Chris Likes would force a three-pointer, which would go in and out. On the next possession, still leading by one, Chris Likes would force another three-pointer. Failure to score and execute on the final three possessions would cost the Eagles the game.